All right, the next deadlift variation we're going to show you is the rack pull. And what you're going to do is you're going to set yourself up in either one of the half racks or a full rack um, in the deadlifting area in the gym. And what you want to do is you have to put either a six inch box or a plate or two underneath your feet because what you're trying to achieve is to have this bar just barely above the patella as you set up. So for me, a 45 pound bumper plate works really well. You can see that bar is just above my knee. And what we're gonna do with this one is because you're not going all the way to the ground like the other forms of the deadlift, you're gonna work the top end of the range of motion. It's gonna give you a little bit more confidence with some heavier weight and you're just gonna put a little bit more tension on the muscles in the upper uh, end range of motion. So you'll set up just like a regular deadlift with your feet about shoulder width apart or so. Again, the bar is just above your kneecap. You can go with the alternating grip or the double overhand grip, whatever you prefer. And again, you're just gonna get yourself set up, get a little bit of a curvature in that lower back, feel a little bit of tension in your hamstrings before you get started. Take your breath in, roll the shoulders back, and really squeeze the glutes at the top. Travel that bar down your thighs until you get back down to the rack. Set up again. And that is the rack pull.